Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and today we're going to be taking a look at Sys Admin. So, this is the way the module looks. Now, there's one thing that's very important to note down, is that there's a difference between a uh, Sys Admin and another module called Sus Admin. And the way that you're able to tell the difference between these is very, very simple. Um, it's based off of the uh, green text that you'll see on the bottom left. Normally with Sus Admin, you will see red text, but in this case you will see green text. That's the way that you will be able to tell um, which one you're looking at. But for the, most, uh, for the first part of this module, it will appear with this little, um, it's this little uh, greater than sign and an underscore that is expecting you to type something in. So I could, for example, type uh, random stuff. This is based off of keypads. Uh, this is based off of keypad support. So this is going to be uh, focusing a lot on the diffuser element side of this because there's going to be a lot of inputs that you have to do for this module. Now, the work for this is actually quite simple. It's actually not really too hard to understand, but this module can take a very very long time to do. It's a very it's it's a very lengthy process, but the concept of it is not too bad if you can get lucky. So let's type. Uh, let's take a look at some of the commands that we're going to be able to type in here. So we have server list, we have status, we have allocate node direction, we have debug node ID, we have recover node ID with the fixed code, commit, revert, and clear. So. Uh, let's go over each of those commands individually. Now, the server list is the first one that you want to take a look at. This is the, between server list and status. This is the first one that you're going to want to look at here. Uh, the server list displays the information about all the servers. Uh, for each server, information about the idea of um, for each server, information about the idea of the node and the required storage size for uh, for work will be provided. So, in this case, let's try and pop up our server list. And let's see if we actually get lucky. Now, uh, as you can see here. We have quite a few servers here. We have a server 72, we have uh, eight terabytes, uh, we have a series of different terabytes with all these individual servers. Uh, and there might be the possibility of an unable to connect a server when you happen to connect to the server, and there might be a node that is damaged. Uh, now, the status, uh, now if we type in status, uh, if we can do this right now, status. What this is going to do is this is actually going to give us the amount of damage nodes that we currently have in the module, which can increase later on in the actual module. And what we need to do is we need to figure out, um, we need to allocate a series of servers, and that can be based off of this slash right here. So in this case, our goal is going to be uh, allocating a series of seven servers. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, now, for the most part, damage nodes and recovered nodes mean that there are nodes that have some sort of damage to them. In this case, we happen to take a look at one. Uh, node 30 is currently damaged right now. That was, when, that was when we were trying to connect to the server with the server list. Um, so what we need to do is we need to actually repair this specific node, and we need to be able to see the rest of our servers, because we need to figure out how exactly we allocate some of these servers here, which we'll get into the allocations in just a moment. The allocations is probably is, is, the, is the solving part of this process, but for the most part, this bulk of the work is going to be very, very important. Um, it's going to be debugging. Now, for uh, in this case, where sometimes the um, uh, where a node is damaged, in this case, we want to we want to type in debug thirty, and that's based off of the idea if we happen to get a uh, if we happen to get a specific node that's damaged. So we want to say debug thirty. Um, and then we're going to get an error code from this display of a result if it happens to be damaged, which in, in this case, it is indeed damaged. And now we're given an error code that's always going to be four characters long. So now, what exactly do we need to do with this? This is where this giant table of codes comes into play here, and this is where we're going to have to take a look at some of our instructions here. So this console is, is, is connected to a bus topology network, which is a very fancy term of saying that this is just a bunch of servers. Um, the network contains 100 nodes, and each node is numbered from 0 to 99 without repetitions. All the nodes are sorted by their ID. Up to 10 of these nodes are servers, and the rest are data storages. Each storage is one terabyte in size, and there is a virus on the network that damages nodes, and you can fix it, but you need to do it, you need to do it as soon as possible. The longer you are idle, the more nodes will be damaged. So in this case, if you happen to activate this module, you need to make sure that you're on top of this thing, because it will spread very, very fast if you happen to if you happen to wait long enough. Uh, and as we happen to as we happen to see, there was indeed five damaged nodes. So let's take a look at the status and see if we happen to have any more. We happen to have nine now. Oh, good lord! So yeah, it happens to spread very very fast. So I'm going to go through this a little bit faster, uh, just because we want to make this work very very simple. But what we're going to be doing here is we need to first off repair uh, node 30. We need to make sure that we can get this thing fixed. Uh, if the node is damaged. Then find the error code in the table uh, on page three. So let's find seven Papa um, Tango six, and that's going to be right here. Okay. Now, for fixing this, what we need to what do we need to do? 
Then, calculate the value in the last column on the same row using the table on the current page. So let's take a look. So now, there is going to be a series of different values based off of this column here, and there is the possibility of there being a series of characters that we need to essentially take a look at, uh, which is going to be based off of this table here. Now, let's take a look. So we have 2 plus Bravo. So we have 2 plus Bravo, which in this case, Bravo is going to be represented by the batteries count. So 2 plus Bravo is going to give me a uh, 2 plus 1, which is going to be a 3. Now, what exactly do we do with this 3, for example? Uh, if this value is uh, greater than or uh, greater than 9 or less than 0, that's subtract or add 10 until the number is in the range of 0 through 9. That's, that's what happens in this case. There might be some subtraction that you need to do, for example, k minus f, blah, 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 blah. You know what I, you know what I, you know what to do. So now, in the same column as the error code, find all codes that contain the calculated value within their code. The recovering, the, the recovering code is equal to the first characters of the found codes starting from the next one after the error code and further down. This action is looped vertically, so after going through the last row, go back to the first. The module checks the validity of the recovery code at the moment of its sending and not at the moment of receiving the error code. So, we have a number of three in this case, and what we want to do is we want to take a look at the column that we're currently in right now. Starting from the next position in uh, after the error code that we receive, we need to find all of the codes that have three present in them. And that's what we're going to be doing here. So now we're going to start at 8 0 vector 1. That doesn't have it. And now we're essentially going to go down the column here. We have a 3 in this one. We have not many 3s, actually. Um, oh my god, yeah, there really is not anything. Wow, okay, there's only one 3 present in this. So now... With this in mind, we found one option that had a three in it. We're not, uh, and there, and one thing that's very important to note is that there, it is possible to have a similar character um, in your original error code, which will be considered, but it must be the last character that you input, because of the fact that we, remember we're starting from um, we're starting from the next one after the error code and further down. That's what we're doing. And now, since we found our one character, uh, since we found our one code that happens to have a three in it. We're not going to submit that error code back. We're not going to submit two Zulu three Oscar. We're not going to do that. No, 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 no. This action, uh, we're going to be, um, is going to be equal to the first characters of the found codes. So all we're simply going to do for this is we're going to say we're going to recover. Uh, so we're going to recover. We're going to recover thirty, which in this case is node thirty. And note that the hashtag does not be, need to be included at all. So it's just it's just the number. And then the fix code is what we're going to type afterwards, which in this case is only going to correspond to 2. Now we hit recover, 32. And now node 30 has been recovered. It can take a little bit for those queries, trust me, but that's all you essentially need to do. So now let's take a look at our server list again. Let's see if we can pop up all of our servers. And now we actually have a uh, node 72 that's been damaged. So let's go through this again. So let's debug 72 to get our error code. So now our error code for this one is going to be a zero Pampa Quebec and eight. Okay. Now for this, now for this row, we're going to take a look at the T. The T is going to be corresponding to starting time in minutes. Now I always start off with 120. So now what we're going to essentially do is we're going to modulo this by 10, um, and that's going to give us a final value of zero in this case. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start after the zero, after this error code, and we're going to go through this entire column here, and we're going to find all of the codes that have zero present in them. And I can already tell that we're going to have quite a few more options here uh, than we originally did beforehand. So that's going to be very important to note down. Uh, so zero, zero, uh, zero, and lastly zero. Our error code was zero. Now remember what we did. Remember what we were going to do. Is this is this is a perfect example because our error code happens to have a zero present in it. So now. Uh, the recovering code is going to be equal to the first characters of the found codes starting from the next one after the error code and further down. Um, and as I, as I should have mentioned before, it attempts to recover the data on a node by its node ID using the fix code. This is essentially how you um, fix a, uh, a node that's been damaged. I should have mentioned that beforehand, but hopefully these commands kind of make sense to you. So now we're going to do recover 72, and our ID is going to be 6 Lima. And by the way, another thing important to note is that all of these are capitalized, but they are they are not case sensitive. You can type them as lowercases uh, just as long as they are correct character. So we have six Lima 
5, then 0, 0, 2, and then finally for the last error code that we have, that's going to be represented by a 0. We hit, rec we hit the Enter key. Give it a second, and just like that, Node 72 has been recovered. So now let's go back to server list, and let's see if we can we see let's see if we can take a look at all of our servers. Here we go. Now, in order to get into the solving process of this entire module, let's take a look and let's see exactly what we need to do for this thing. This might look very intimidating, and trust me, it's not that bad. So now let's start processing this. So what we have here is a list of servers. I believe this is going to be 10. I believe, I'm not sure if it's always 10, but it generally tends to be 10. So now our goal here, if we remember from our status, if we remember from our status, our goal is to uh, essentially relocate or allocate, excuse me, uh, seven of these servers. Now, how exactly does allocating work? That's, that's the one thing that, that generally tends to confuse people the most. Um, so as it's mentioned up here beforehand, uh, these are going to be essentially, uh, all the nodes are, uh, this is going to be, where is it? Uh, 10 of these nodes are servers and the rest are data storages. Now, what we want to do with this is we want to essentially, um, we want to essentially put all of these storage, all these terabytes in storage um, areas. And what this essentially means is that each storage is going to be one terabyte in size, so it's able to take up one terabyte. Now, the way that I, I would like to explain how this works is a little bit interesting, and you have to follow along for me. So let's take, for example, let's take, for example, server 14. So now, there's two possibilities of which you can do this with. Uh, for allocating, you can allocate it in a direction, uh, which in this case could be left or down, uh, which is decreasing ID, uh, and right or up, which is going to be increasing the ID. And this is going to be important. In order for the uh, for the command to work, per, uh, to work correctly, the following conditions must be met. The selected node must be a server. In this case, the server that we happen to uh, allocate with, uh, if we were to, for example, allocate, um, uh, for example, 90, if we were to allocate 90, for example, left, uh, this in this case is actually representing a server. This is not simply a, um, a storage node. That's, that's very important to note down. Now the allocation nodes must must uh, the allocation nodes must be data storages, not servers. So what this essentially means is that the servers cannot allocate into themselves. So for example, uh, what is a good example? Okay, so uh, 92. If we were to go down, if we were to go down or to uh, decrease the ID, which in this case would be 91, 90, um, 89, 88, um, for example. If we happen to do that down, because we have nine terabytes, which means it's going to go through nine individual nodes, it would happen to run into server 90. Uh, that would be not good to go. That would be not good at all. Um, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that the, all the allocation nodes must all be data storages. The data storages are the ones that are not the servers. Um, and then there should be no attempts to allocate nodes uh, with ID with ID less than zero or greater than 99. It can never go to negatives. It can never go above 100. That's just the way that this works. So now, pretty much, actually, one of the things that we can already determine is the fact that 92 is a nine. That pretty much means that we cannot mess around with the server at all. Because if we were to if we were to increase it with up, uh, if we, were, we we just figured out that if we increase it if we uh, decrease it with the ID. Uh, it would go to 9190, which would run into a server, which we do not want to do. So, uh, and if it, were, if, it were, if it were to go up, what it would do is it would go to 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and it would be 100, and it would be 101. So we would have, uh, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now, it's 9 terabytes large. It goes. It, it will be allocating in the direction of up. Each individual, each individual node would get one terabyte. So one, 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 one. This normally would be correct, but as I just mentioned, it cannot be greater than ninety-nine. That's what we just happened here. We have to have a hundred and one hundred and one. If it happened to be seven, for example, that would be perfectly fine. If it was only seven terabytes large, that would be perfectly fine because of the fact that there was nothing interfering with it. Um, that's what's going to be important about this, is this is the way how the allocation works. It goes, it, it starts at 92, but it doesn't relocate any sort of storage to itself. It's only going to be relocating its storage to other data storages, in this case, anything that's not that. If we were to go up, we would go 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, and so on and so forth, until we happen to run out of terabytes. That's going to be the way that this works.
that's essentially what we're going to be after here, and hopefully this makes sense. So now, one of the things that we want to do first off is we need to make sure that none of this, we need to also make sure that the server node, as well as the allocation nodes, should not be damaged. This is very, very important that we need to do. So if we happen to do server 14, which I'm actually going to start off with, because that's actually a really nice one to do. Um, if we happen to have server 14, and let's say we wanted to go up. So that would be going up to 15 and 16. And that would be it right there, because it's only two terabytes large. We need to make sure that 15 and 16 are not damaged at all. We need to make sure that we can debug those, and the allocation server should never be allocated to another server. That should be pretty straightforward. Um, but this, essentially what we need to do is we need to make sure, and this is going to be the key for most of these modules here, is we need to figure out um, what 15 and 16, um, if 15 and 16 are bugged at all, which we can actually do real quick right now. So let's uh, get rid of our allocate 90 left because we're not quite ready yet. Um, but essentially this is what we're going to be doing with this module. Is, uh, and the reason why there's only seven servers that we have to allocate is because of the fact that we have examples like 92 that would potentially run into 90 or potentially go off the um, the numbers here. So we're not going to be allocating all the servers, and this is where a little bit of that strategy has to come into play here. So let's actually pop up the server list one last time, um, just so we can get an idea. So we can already take a look here, and let's start scanning out some possibilities here that we can uh, take a look at. Uh, now, 72 would be a good one right here because of the fact that it's pretty much on its own planet. It can pretty much do whatever it wants. There's nothing close to it. There's no 60s. There is no um, There's no 80s. That's quite nice. Uh, and that's going to be basically able to do whatever. We can pretty much go uh, either up or down with it. It really does not matter. But let's also take a look at some of the smaller ones that we can do here. Now, immediately right off the bat, if we take a look at number two, uh, server number two here, it has five terabytes, and if we happen to go up or down with it, down would lead us to be lower than zero, that's not what we want, and up would actually mess and interfere with the number seven, in this case, that would not work. Now, the same thing with seven, the same thing with seven in this case would apply as well, because seven happen would, would be nine terabytes, it's going to interfere with server 14. We don't want to mess with that. So... That pretty much means that 2, 7, and 92 are off the list. So that actually means that we pretty much determined which uh, servers we're not going to be allocating at all. So 2, 7, and 19 are not going to be messed with. Do not touch. So that's nice. That's one thing that you really want to do quickly is you want to figure out which nodes you're going to be messing with and which nodes you're not going to be interacting with at all. That's going to save you a lot of time. And in this case, the rest of the servers are what we're going to be working with here. And that's going to be perfect for us. So let's start taking a look and let's start processing this. 72 is whatever. We can determine which direction we want to go to, and let's preferably go up, to be quite honest. So let's do, uh, that would be um, in the range of 73, and the way that it actually draws it out is it's going to be 73 through, um, hold on, let me think about this. It's 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and then 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So yes, it is 8. That means it goes up to 80. Now, these would be the range of each of the data storages. Each of them would get 1. This would work for the um, for, uh, storage, uh, for server 72 if it was allocating up. Uh, so in this case, each of them get 1 piece of storage uh, represented by the 8 terabytes. As long as all these guys are good, that's what we need to do. So now we can go 72 up with 73 through 80. Now, uh, for 92, we've said that we are not going to touch with, uh, excuse me, nine, 92, I meant to say. Uh, not 19. Um, two, we said we're not going to mess with. 14 is also a really easy one. 14, we can go... Uh, now, if we take a look around, our server of 12 is what we're going to have to interact with. So this means that server 14 is pretty much going to be guaranteed to go up. Um, because if we happen to go down to, it's going to run into 12 real quick. It's going to go 13 and then a 12. That's not, that's not what we want to do with this. So we want to go up, which in this case is going to be range 15 and then 16. So that, that's good to go. Uh, next up, 34. 34 is actually a bit of an interesting one. It's going to happen to, um, it's really close to the 30. Um, so that's going to be very a bit interesting. It can go either up or down because we know for a fact that the 30 pretty much is going to be going down based off of the fact that it's going to, if it was, if, if 30 were to go up, it would run into the 34. So the 34, we can go up and we can just do 35 through 36. That's pretty straightforward. Um, next up, we can do, uh, we can, on the topic of 30 as well, we can just do that. Um, but also 90, 90, let's go, let's go, let's go down, just make it simple. So let's just, that's going to be in the range of 91 through 91. Um, 
Uh, very simple one. Uh, I, I meant to do 91, but we just said eight, I said 89, and then 89. Um, 43 is another simple one. We can go either up or down with this one. We can go, uh, let's go up, and it's going to just be 44, 44. And the way that I'm actually noting this down uh, with these square brackets is the way that it will appear on the model after you allocate a specific direction. And I'll show you what that means in just a moment. Um, so yes, let's do that. Then with number seven, seven we said that we cannot interact with because it's going to run into 12 or it's going to run into two. We don't want that to happen. Um, now for 12, 12 in this case, we can move down uh, and we don't want to move up because of the fact that it's going to run into 14. So with 12, what we want to do is we want to do in the range of um, 8 through 10, 8 through 10, because that's going to be the three that we get here, 8, 9, 10, or excuse me, um, sorry, uh, 11, that's going to be 9 through 11, my bad. I can't do math today. Uh, then we have a 30. For the last one here, 30, we said that we were going to go down because of the fact that we would run into 34. This means that we're going to be doing a 24, 29, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, yes. That's going to be 24 through the range of 29. And just like that, this is going to be the ranges that we need to look for each of these guys to allocate through. So this is essentially what we're going to be doing here, is we're going to go through each of these ranges, and we're going to see if anything's been bugged yet, because so far, if we take a look at the module here, status, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff that's been bugged here. Yeah, 12. Okay. It doesn't increase much, but it definitely is going to be a little bit of a headache to deal with if we happen to get unlucky. Uh, so I generally tend to start on the smaller ranges. The smaller ranges are really going to be what we want to focus on, um, and then we're going to save the bigger ranges for later. So first things first, I generally like to start off with a uh, with the just the one range, just in this case, that's going to be a uh, 44. So let's check if uh, 30, uh, 44 is bugged. Debug 44. So if we debug 44, it hopefully should come up with a nice operation. That's perfect. So now what we can do is what we can do is you, we can use the commands. Uh, we know that 44 is operational and it's good to go. So now what we can do is we can allocate, uh, allocate, uh, uh, we can allocate 43, and we're going to be going to the up direction because uh, we can do right or up for the increasing ID, and we're going to be increasing the ID to 44. So let's hit the up. So now we're going to let that do its thing. And in this case, if we now take a look at the server list, and we happen to get a bug again, that's unfortunate. So uh, we're going to be we're going to be fixing 92. So 92 is damaged. So that's going to be uh, trying for getting uh, us going to be debugging 92. Let's debug 92. Let's see what error code it gives us. Uh, so now we have zero J K J K JK, and then zero. Now this is going to be corresponding to indicators for the character that we're going to be looking. For. Uh, indicators is going to be uh, right over here. Indicator count, or just I in this case. One, two. So we're going to be looking for the character of two in this column. So let's find all the twos. So we have uh, here, here, um, not many this time around, thankfully. Uh, right here, right here. Uh, oh god, here we go. Um, and that looks like that's gonna be it. So that's good to go. And then, the, and then the error code itself did not have a two. That's perfect. So now, with this in mind, so we're gonna say recover 92, and it's gonna be a zero two. Remember, we're using the first character of each of these codes. Then a uh, a nine two two two. So let's recover 92 with that code. So let's do this thing, and let's pop up the server list, and hopefully, I'm able to show you the example that I wanted to show you. Now let's do server list. Of course, it's going to be bugged. All right, so node 14 is damaged currently right now. So that's good that we're making sure that we're actually getting some bugs fixed here. So let's let's do this again. Um, let's debug 14. Eight, nine, November two. Eight, nine, November two. That's going to be corresponding to B. B is going to be represented by the number of batteries. Most of these tend to make sense. Um, K happens to be uh, a bit of a weird one. There is going to be two-factor codes. However, most people don't tend to use two-factor at all. Um, but if we remember, the battery count is going to be a one. Battery count is going to be a one. So we're going to be looking for everything that has a one in this column, which is U, U, um, U, U, U. You, oh boy, quite a few this time around. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, wow, good deal. Um, so now we're gonna start from the four, so we're gonna do recover uh, 14, and we're gonna do four, five, uh, five, one, seven, then we have a one, one, and finally a hotel. Let's hit recover, and let's do that, let's do our thing with that. And hopefully, we've, we've pushed back some of these, uh, 
some of these vi this virus a little bit, but you know, it's a little bit chaotic. chaotic. So server, list, and just like that, as you can see, uh, 43 has now been allocated, and it lets you know which one has been allocated. And it happens to be the exact sort of notation that I just gave here. That's perfect. So now let's do the same thing. Let's get rid of 90 as well. So we can just debug 89 real quick. So let's make sure that that is operational. Debug 89. 89 is operational. So now we're going to be uh, allocating down because we're, we're going to be uh, debugging down. So now let's uh, let's allocate. Uh, the server ID is 90, and we're going to be going down. And just like that, this one's been taken care of now. And just like that, it's been successfully allocated. Uh, now let's take care of 15 and 16. These are going to be a bit of a shorter range, so let's, and then we'll take care of 9, um, 9 through 11, uh, or we can do 34, uh, 35 and 36, it's whatever. Um, so let's do debug 15. 15 is good. Debug 16. And then that's going to be good. Um, let's just make sure that also 14 should work. We just debugged that one, actually. I shouldn't have done that, but that's a waste of time, but whatever. Um, so we're, now we're going to allocate 14, and we're going to be going up. 14 up. Okay, that's been, that's been allocation. So now if we take a look at status. Now, allocated servers is now 3 out of 7. This means that we're definitely heading in the right direction. This is perfect for us. So, we just need to finish up our last four here, uh, which is going to be some of the bigger ones, but, you know, we'll get it done. So now, let's debug 35, and then 36. Okay, debug is damaged, so we do not want to, de we definitely do not want to allocate our servers quite yet, because this one is going to be damaged. So let's do a 5-7 uh, Tango India, or Tango 1, excuse me, that's an it's a 1. Um, and we have battery count, which happened to be a 1 in this case. I remember that from beforehand. Now, 1 is present within this, but this is going to be our last character right here. So let's take a look at uh, what's next. So we have um, 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, then we have the 1 right there. Um, and that's going to be our last one. That's going to be our last one right there. Okay, so now we're going to recover 35 with the code of a uh, 1135 uh, and then a Lima, glad I checked that. Lima um, at 35. Uh, and that's going to be up. Is that good? Indeed it is. Okay, so now let's make sure that we have, uh, we debug um, 36. Okay, 36 is operational, and let's just make sure for goodness sake, because uh, anything could have happened, let's debug 34. Let's make sure that, that the server is working so that we can go allocate uh, 34 up. Perfect. So now we can allocate 34 up uh, to 35 through 36. Let's do that. Perfect. That takes care of another one that we need to take care of. Uh, now let's take care of the 9 through 11 range. Let's debug 9. Okay, node 9 is damaged, so now we're going to be doing... Uh, UMP, so UMP9, uh, that's going to be corresponding to 3 plus K. 3 plus K is going to be, um, if there are no chief active codes, we're going to use the solve the module count. Well, currently I don't have any sort of solve modules right now, so that means that it's just going to be a 3 plus a 0. So that's going to be a 3. So now let's find all 3s in this, in this, in this column here. Uh, so 3, 3, um, 3, 3, 3, 3, Wow, lots of threes. Uh, and that's going to be it. Okay. And the UMP 9 does not count, so that's going to be uh, Recover 9 with 7, 6, um, 5, 9, 2, 2, 4. Or 2, 2, 2, if you. Yes. Okay. Now let's do that. Nine has been successfully recovered. Let's debug 10. And as you can see, this module can take a long time, as I as I'm showing here. It's already been a half an hour, so. Um, but it is a very lengthy process. It's a bit of it's a bit of explaining that I had to do. So just making sure um, that I explain this well enough. Hopefully, uh, now glad to check no twelve because this can happen randomly. Um, so let's take a look. So we have zero nine Romeo zero. Uh, so let's take a look here. So zero nine Romeo zero is right there. I don't care about the match case. Um, 
the um, the, uh, the count that we want to look for is the M, which is going to be module count, uh, which is going to be a one. Okay, so let's find all the ones in this column here. Uh, or rather, wait, let's let's not do that. Hold on. Um, highlighting you. Um, one. Uh, and that's going to be it. So now starting from the error code, let's go down. Um, and starting from the next one from the error code, that's going to be recover 12 with a 110 and a 39. That's going to be it. Cool. All right. And then now what we can do is we can finally get rid of, we can finally move 12 down. So let's move, um, so let's do allocate 12 and we're going to do down. Okay, good. Now we have the last two remaining, and let's take a look at our server list real quick. As you can see, we have five of them currently present right now, and it's the ranges that we exactly said that we were going to do. That's perfect. So now let's take care of 72, and let's take care of 30. Those are the two that we need to take care of, because the others are going to be uh, conflicting with themselves. So let's take a look. Uh, so now let's go through, let's get the big board done. Let's get 72 done. So let's debug uh, 73 uh, and through 80 up. Uh, let's see if that's done. Um, okay, 73 is immediately damaged. So that's going to be a 2143. And that's going to be an F. F is going to be represented by the recovered nodes count. So now, when it happens to have a error count, uh, error code uh, appear uh, in this example, we actually don't we don't, actually don't need to immediately repair it. We can simply check status as, as much as we so please. So now our recovered node count is going to be a 7. So now we happen to have seven recovered nodes. That's going to be good for us. So now what we're going to do is we're going to count all the sevens in this area. So let's go. It's going to be a seven um, up to the top. Seven, seven, uh, seven. Quite a few sevens here. Seven, seven, um, seven. Okay. And now recover code for recover seventy three is going to be a five uh, foxtrot one. Uh, nine, seven, seven, and that should be, and then another seven. Glad I checked. Uh, so now let's let's do that recovery. Let's do that. Still have quite a few damage nodes, but we're definitely uh, getting there. That's good stuff. Bug seventy four moving up. Bug uh, seventy five. Bug seventy six. Okay, debug 77. Bug 78. Bug 79. Hopefully this we can get through this a little bit quickly. Um, okay, and then finally debug 8. And then for goodness sake, let's debug 72. Let's make sure that that's, that's up and running. Perfect. Now what we can do is we can do allocate 72. Let's make sure I type it right. Allocate 72, and we're going to be doing that up. Let's take care of this big guy here, uh, and that's going to be making us good to go. Perfect. And now all we need to do is we need to debug the 24 through 29 range, and we should be good to go. Debug uh, 24. Let's keep it going. Hopefully we don't get as many uh, viruses as we do here. Um, I would prefer not to have that much damage, um, but let's see what happens. Bug 26. Okay, 26 is damaged. So we have uh, a 3, 0, Charlie 2. That's going to be a 4 plus mic, which is going to be just modules. So that's going to be a 5. Um, so now we're going to find all the 5s in this column here. So let's do um, U, 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 uh, U. And that looks like that's going to be it. Perfect. So now from our error code, or the next one, the next one from the error code, let's take a look. So we're going to be recovering 26 with a um, 1, 5, then a 9, 5, then a 5, 2. And just make sure that is it. Yes. Okay. Now, let's see what happens. It's been successfully recovered. Perfect. Debug 27. Let's continue our way up. 
50 bucks, 28. Buck 29. Deep bug 30, just for good measure. Heck yeah. So now, allocate 30 down. Now, if we take a look at our server list here, let's take a look at server list. All of the transformations have been done, and if we take a look at status, all of our servers have been allocated. Now, all we simply need to do for this module is simply do one last command, and that's going to be commit. It applies all changes, and if the required number of allocations is reached, the module will be solved. Otherwise, all allocations will be reverted, and a strike will be counted. Now, revert is going to be reverse all allocations and give a strike. This is exactly why you want to plan it out early on, uh, because of the fact that if you happen to have to revert, it's, it's a bit of a pain to deal with, trust me. And clear is just simply here on the console. So now let's hit commit. Let's type in commit. And now let's do this. Allocation complete, solving module. And just like that, this is solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Apologies for the really long tutorial video today. This is definitely one of the longer ones. However, the concept of it is not too bad to do, trust me. So, as always, as I say, stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>